What's up YouTube? This is gonna be a pretty short video because my partner's in the bathroom, but I know I'm not gonna have any uh, time by myself this weekend when the light's out, um, when the light is out, when the, the sun is out, so I figured I better do this right now. Just a couple things, um, as, as you may know from my last video, that I sent an email to my younger sister. This is uh, my fundamentalist sister who's married and has a kid. And even though I was pretty certain that it would go okay, there was kind of like a um, fear that I had that, you know, maybe she wouldn't want me to be around her kid or something like that. But um, she did write back and everything, I mean, she said that that uh, nothing has to change between us. And it looked like she really carefully read my email and I um, included some links including one to a PFLAG uh, pamphlet, and it looked like she actually read that and um, found it helpful, or at least related to it. So it was good to hear back from her, and even though it wasn't like, a, hey, I really support you, and this is awesome, and I'm so glad that you're doing this, um, it, there was kind of like some fundamentalist Christian talk about my sexuality, uh, but even so, it was very much like, this is what you're doing and I hope that it works out for you. So I was happy about that. And um, she raised some concerns about me telling my mom and how it would go. So I'm trying to be in conversation with her, with my sister about how to approach talking to my mom since she probably has more insight on how my mom might take it. Or at least she has some insight on how my mom might take it. So that's out of the way. Uh, and even though it's not perfect, it's a lot better than it could have gone, and it was about what I expected, um, if not even a little bit more, like she ended it with, I hope this is, this improves your health or something like that. Um, so that went well. Uh, other things, I'm going to go see my doctor in a couple weeks and I have to go get my blood drawn next week. Uh, I don't remember how many weeks on T I am now, but... Um, I was supposed to go to see the doctor at six weeks, but I forgot to make the appointment in advance, so I just took the first available one, and that's how it goes. Uh, things are going okay. Still, some anxieties here and there. I'm being read as male a lot more often um, than in the past by um, people in like the service industry. Like, I went to the sandwich shop. Um, yesterday and I got surd and it's like I would get surd before like before I started testosterone I would get surd but it was maybe a quarter of the time if that and now it seems like it's happening more than half the time uh, and in some ways it's encouraging to me because it, I feel like I am changing enough for other people to notice but in other ways it's I have complicated feelings about it, because I don't necessarily want to be a sir either, um, but I'm not sure what I want. So, uh, one of the complications of being non-binary is, is that even though you're, you're going through changes that you want to go through, it's not necessarily going to result in the social recognition that you're after. And I don't really know what social recognition I'm after, so this is kind of an exploratory process for me. Um, something happened at work where a friend, I mean not really a friend, but a colleague, someone that I've talked to a little bit and seems to be, seems to be gay, so, you know, family in some sense when you're in a straight heteronormative world. Uh, he mentioned to me, he's like, oh, you, you sound like you got a frog in your throat. And, and there was a lot of people around, and this was the first time that anyone's ever said anything to me about my voice who didn't already know in advance what I had been doing, that I had gone into testosterone. So he was like, oh, this sounds like you got a frog in your throat. And I was like, yep, it's, it's just gonna live there now, you know, I got permanent frog, that's my deal now. And he's like, oh, okay, so he could tell that I didn't really want to talk about it that much more. Or maybe I had a cold and was just trying to be funny. You know, he couldn't really tell, but he knew that I wasn't inviting more questions about it. And, uh, and I was like, yep, it just lives there now. And I kind of froze when he first asked, because I wanted to tell him. 
but there was too many people around and this was the first time that anyone had really had asked and I just didn't know how to handle it. And so he, so I froze and then came back with the thing about the frog living in my throat and he's like, oh, well, you know, it sounds good. And, and he was, I don't know if he was making a joke to be like, oh, lower voices are sultry and so let's pretend that like we're having this flirty moment here or something. Or if he was like, oh, but it sounds more masculine and I'm really into dudes, so um, something like that. But he was making some funny comment about that uh, to be saying, oh, well, it's working for me. And I was like, oh, well, it's doing its job then. And he's like, oh, you have no idea. And so it was kind of fun. And, um, and, I mean, it was totally not serious at all, any kind of real flirting, but it was just fun to know that... Um, that it was some, it doesn't have to be, these aren't signals that are saying I'm a freak. They're signals that are saying things that people don't quite understand, but it's the response isn't like, something must be wrong with you. Um, but you know, maybe he thought I had a cold. Well, about an hour later, uh, I there were fewer people around and so I went up to him and, and just said, hey, you had asked about that and actually um, I'm, I'm, I started hormone replacement therapy, so I'm kind of going through puberty now, so that's kind of why. And he kind of didn't know how to take that answer, like, um, because it was just so direct and odd. Um, so he was like, oh, well, that's cool. Congratulations on puberty. And I was like, oh, thanks. And then I left because my shift was over. But that is... Anyway, the first time that someone asked me about it, and I've been really nervous thinking about... Um, people asking me about it, people that I'm not extremely close to or have been close enough to share with them that I am doing this. So um, I had been really nervous about that and so I'm really glad that the first time that it happened was with someone that I knew um, pretty well and that it kind of, it kind of went, I mean it did go really well and I felt really like happy the rest of the day just feeling like I had done something good. Uh, so so that went okay. And then later on in the week, another friend that I had told in advance that I was going to start testosterone came by and was just like, oh, things are changing. I can hear your voice is changing. And, and it was just, um, in one sense, it felt like they were trying to, that this guy was trying to, to, I don't know be in on all the juicy gossip. Not that he's going to pass the gossip around, but just he wants to be in the know, so he wants to see what it's like. So he kind of just seemed, oh, yes, what's happening? I want to know. So there's a little bit of that. But then there was also just, uh, things are going on with you. That's great. And an attempt to be supportive. And um, so it was, it was a good experience. Even if it was mixed a little bit with bad, it was still a good experience. So I feel a little bit more confident about how I can handle things at work when it comes up, so that's good. Alright, those are the only things on my list, and even though I said it's going to be a quick video, here it is, like, eight and a half minutes, but oh well. Uh, I'm trying to do updates more often, uh, thanks to those who made a comment last time. It's good to see who you are who's watching these videos, so thank you, and I hope you all are doing well on your gender journeys if you're on a gender journey, but who's kind of like not on a gender journey? I'm sure there is someone, but an anti-gender journey would still be somewhat of a gender journey. So anyway, whoever you are and whatever you're going through, I hope you're doing okay.